And today I thought I'd take a look at giving some information on zombies. So, as you can see here, I got Plague Diamond Sniper Rifles. And I also got the Plague Diamond um, Melee. So we're taking a look at the Melee here. Um... It's one of the easier ones to do, and if you get Golden Viper, you'll get Plague Diamond for it as well, since it is the only melee in Zombies. You don't have to do the Riot Shield. The Riot Shield is not in the game, at least uh, at the time of recording. So if we take a look at some of these camos, let's take a look. You're only going to get a row of camos, so there's five camos. You can get these done uh, pretty quickly, and it go comes out in the Mystery Box. So if you're working on another weapon and you want to double dip, you can definitely do this. And for these camos, if we, if we look into it, for pack tackets, um, it's just 1,000 kills. Surgical is get 10 rapid kills 50 times. Predatory ambitions and zombies get 1,000 pack of punch kills. Reptilian and zombies get 20 or more consecutive kills without getting hit 20 times. And finally, for Deadeye, it's, it's zombies get 20 Storm Krigger eliminations. And the translation for Storm Krigger is Storm Warrior, just in case you're wondering. And for Boom Shrier, it is Boom Shrieker. Just uh, some extra information for you there. But what I recommend doing is probably knocking out these uh, sniper rifles first because the overall slowness of the fire rate is uh, gonna take a little bit of time. So I recommend knocking through these challenges first and then uh, the rest of the guns I think should be significantly faster. It just, you have to deal with this fire rate. So this is um, one of the setups that I'm using here. Um, one of the muzzles that I'm gonna use is just gonna give me some damage range. So that'll help out where you're shooting. And then I'm gonna go with the highest round mag but what i'm really looking for is fire rate i want to maximize the fire rate and even though it's going to give me a minus one in the smaller one hit kill area i'll counterbalance that with the barrel that has a larger one hit kill area so this is going to make um, a big difference having those uh 20 round mags especially when you pack a punch the gun it's going to make those Jackrabbit kills a lot easier. And then you could kind of do whatever you want for the stocks. Um, I, I just like the flinch resistance, just in case as you know, zombies are hitting me or I'm getting blasted by the storm trigger. And then I want to help out my ADS. So I'm going to do that. And you can do that with the hand stop as well. And uh, there are some covenants that, that will help you uh, get through these challenges, like um, like Bloodlust, which is uh, for melee kills. And the melee kills on this gun will actually help with getting your packed kills, your covenant kills, your regular elimination kills. And um, you're going to be switching off between uh, shooting them and, and meleeing them. But unfortunately, since you have to have seven attachments equipped, on this one you cannot add the bayonet as it will remove the stabilizer. So that's very important. You need seven attachments. So I um, also recommend leveling up these weapons uh, as much as you can. But let's say something like the SVT. Um, you can have the bayonet and it won't take out the stabilizer. So on this one you can have the bayonet. And... Uh, I'm working marksman rifles now, so 
uh, you, you can go for on the in this situation why I don't choose this um, Sakura 15 round mag is because I don't want the reduced body damage but you can uh, um, obviously go for that fire rate if you'd like and uh, you can still pair it up with the larger one hit kill area and then you'd be good to go so that's uh, what I'm working on right now. So I'm working on the uh, marksman rifles at the time of recording. And yeah, so as I have Plague Diamond, uh, Sniper Rifles, and the Melee Knife. So I hope you guys find this information useful. If, if you do, please uh, consider giving a like and a sub as I try to upload content daily. It's been a little bit uh, crazy with uh, Yuletide and everything going on right now, but I do try to upload often and give you as much accurate and helpful information to help you uh, crush your goals, crush your enemies with the power of Thor. And I will continue to post videos because uh, you guys seem to be enjoying them and they have been helpful. So until next time, horns up and skull. Okay, so here we are in the gameplay. The first thing I would like to point out is um, I wouldn't recommend going past round 15. Uh, your guns start getting weaker, and uh, it's, it's just not necessary. You go to 15 or to 12 and then uh, restart the game, just exfil. You see, I, I have over 4,000 kills, and so does uh, my partner, Dr. 12-Tone. Right, okay, so once you get into the map, you'll see different uh, portals. Um, I recommend doing either Blitz or Transmit and just farming for XP and and essence and to try to get your your guns packed and what well, when you come back you'll get a heart and this is what the altar of covenants are and there are many different ones that you can choose uh, I would choose one uh, that's going to help your gun obviously bloodlust and unholy ground are the best bloodlust you'll get uh, one hit and melee kills which um, help for uh, packed kills and for getting these covenant challenge is done but sometimes uh you won't get it um get great covenant so just like like over here and you just kind of have to make do if you're in this situation i would just uh play play the maps uh or, or you know the missions rather and then you don't waste any hearts on on these things that uh that you don't need that aren't going to help you so also, these Altar of Covenants, they have different tier levels. So, so blue is rare, um, purple is epic, and then orange is legendary. And you see here, um, they do different things. But um, on this particular run-through, I got uh, some bad luck. So I just didn't buy any. You see, um, they would be located on the bottom left-hand corner, the left side of the perks. And now that we're talking about perks, um, all level 1 perks are free. So uh, once you gain access to perks uh, through the missions uh this map uh russia starts opening up and you get your first perk for free so keep that in mind you get all five free and then like i said i would farm this is a map transit and i'm just pushing the head a little bit to where i can get some zombies to spawn ahead and we're all taking turns just farming and trying to get our uh packed weapons and then when we go to the pack machine it's 7500 then we can go to the Altar of Covenants and select the, the one that that's going to help out. On Holy Ground, is, is awesome because you can just uh, stay on your ground and you'll get extra damage. As well as uh, Bloodlust, which is great for the melee kills, and you'll refill your health. And see here, um, I'm just, uh, with the help of Dr. 12 Tone, I'm uh, getting, getting kills. And then this is where playing with people um, comes through. Um, because, uh, you know, he's throwing some decoys here and, and it's helping out, uh, to get those knife kills and also playing with other people. If you play with three people or more, you're going to get more zombies. So you can get these rapid kills quickly, um, level up your gun quickly. All, all these things are better when you're playing with people and, uh, the grind's kind of long too. So playing with other people is definitely going to help you, um, get through the, the time. Because it is it is a grind. It is a grind. But um, I would recommend uh, just getting your feet wet with a knife. And as you can see, he's he's also luring zombies and taking hits for me. 
as I'm getting these uh, knife kills. I'm trying to get uh, Jackrabbit. And uh, that this challenge can be kind of frustrating because you have to get 20 kills without getting hit. And they also, uh, playing with people helps too because you can take their zombies if they're not trying to play or they're trying to take a break or whatever. You can uh, hoard up and get their zombies. So definitely recommend playing with people. It's definitely going to help. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at uh, some more footage of the combat knife. And just trying to get these uh, jackrabbit kills. It's 20 kills without getting hit. So there's a variety of different ways that you can do it. Obviously, getting not getting hit is the best and only way. And for this one, we're going to look at the rapid kills. So the rapid kills, you have to get 10 kills uh, basically in a row. Right when your knife resets back into your hand from lunging, you have to get... 10 kills and what I recommend is just kind of hoarding up zombies and getting your 10 kills and this is going to make life much easier um, not just for the knife but for all the guns in general all these uh, guns are going to um, it's basically the same strategy for all the guns so I'm just showing you the combat knife right now and the, another recommendation that I have is when you get two or more zombies like this you want to kind of force them to lunge at you and then you pull back so that'll waste their attack move and then you can go in and lunge for the kill also recommend uh getting decoys which you can see here at the uh, crafting table and uh there are 1000 essence each so this will be very helpful for getting the jackrabbit kill so um another tip is uh to get like five or six or seven kills and then throw this decoy and get the remaining kills uh, that you want to do when you're uh, closer. And uh, this will definitely make things uh, much, much easier. So the, uh, these are the rapid kills again and just going through uh, the, this last part of the challenge as you'll see I'll unlock Golden Viper. And then um, it's always good to have your secondary in hand too because once you're done with one weapon, you can be working on the next one. And um, I think we'll be exfilling in a few rounds so I can get uh, as many kills as I can and farm. And a, a lot of these farming strategies, uh, you'll have infinite spawns in um, transit, I mean, uh, transmit, harvest. Uh, the, those are my two favorite. Where as long as you don't complete the mission, you'll um, be able to get an uh, infinite amount of zombies. And uh, this one is Blitz, so, so you see that there's a timer here. And um, since I'm using the sniper rifle, I believe I have Bloodlust here, and that's going to give me a one-shot melee. So you, with the sniper rifles, you're going to go in between uh, getting your critical sh kills and your um, melee kills. So the melee kills will help you with your packed kills and... Uh, kills in general so keep that in mind here it's um, critical kills so rapid critical kills you need to get three or more in a row so it's best to just um, post in, in a spot and have the zombies come to you in a single file line if possible and then you can rip through these challenges very quickly just like here so in here we um, this is again transmit and we push the head um, as far as we could just so we can get the maximum amount of spawns and um, 12 tone is holding down the other side of the map, so I'm not getting any uh, any problems. And I could just focus on my line. You could get my rapid kills, my uh, jackrabbit kills, and my critical kills. So, and um, also, you know, when you have that unholy ground, I mean, it's just very helpful. You don't have to move anywhere. You just aim and fire, and uh, you'll be able to get through these challenges very quickly. So there's, uh, like I said, many times you're going to be um, shooting and meleeing and you definitely want that bloodlust, especially for the ma uh, for the knife. And what, what's cool about it is that like your health can refill uh, when you uh, get your melee kill. So just um, be, being patient, I think, is the key. Sometimes it, it can be uh, get a little slow and frustrating, but just stay on task and you'll get these done. That's why I recommend doing the um, 
the sniper rifles first, along with the knife, because the knife is very easy to do. And you see here uh, the blood uh, lust is at work. I'm just meleeing and getting those uh, one hit kills with the sniper, and you can get those 10 rapid kills as well. So it's the same strategy. You, you get 10 zombies. First, you'll get um, the, uh, the, the, the first metal, and then you'll get the carnage, which is the 10 kills, and that's the one you want. So if uh, you have a lot of zombies spawning, it's going to be hard to snap onto their head. So you just want to melee them, and you'll get through these challenges very quickly. Again, you can do this for all the weapons, and uh, it's, it's going to be the same strategy that, that, that I'll be using for for all the weapons. So you see the, the carnage there and I'm just going to uh, keep, keep the zombies in a single file line and uh, just complete these challenges. So, you know, um, well, well when, once you're done, you know, you should be able to get these uh, this golden viper pretty quickly. And uh, with a sniper, it's pretty nice too because you have all this distance uh, to be firing the weapon and to not getting hurt so the so the jackrabbits are very easy to get uh with the sniper rifles and using the melee with the bloodlust covenant is going to help uh with those rapid kills so those are the things that uh you want to have and on holy ground uh, if you're able to get that as well and you know here's just some more gameplay footage of just using the same strategy so if you want to do this for the marksman rifles, the other snipers, the AR, it's the exact same thing. And you will get through and get your Golden Viper camo completed. I hope this video has helped. And until next time, Skull.